Today, we will talk about how to dispose of landscaping rocks. Let's have a look at the details. Maybe you cleared away your old landscaping for a fresh start. Or perhaps you added new landscaping and have excess material. Either way, you have a bunch of landscaping rocks you want to dispose of. If this sounds familiar, keep watching this video for helpful ways to donate, recycle, discard, or repurpose that pesky pile of stones. Put a free sign out with the stones. Try this if the rocks are piled up in a high visibility spot. For example, this can work if you have a delivery of stones dumped on your front curb or driveway, and don't know what to do with the leftovers. Before long, someone will walk or drive by and decide they want to take home some free landscaping stones. Offer them to your neighbors. This might get faster results than the free sign. Surely someone in your neighborhood is planning a landscaping job, and wouldn't mind some free rocks to help trim the budget. List them as free on classified ad sites. Think of this as a free sign with a much wider reach. If you cast a wide enough net, you can nearly always find someone willing to take something off your hands for free. Contact landscape who might take them. Your odds are best if the rocks are free and in good shape. In other words, if the stones are piled up fairly neatly, free of twigs and other debris, relatively clean, and being offered free of charge, you'll probably find a local landscaper who's willing to come pick them up. Haul them to your local landfill. Landfills usually accept rocks for free or for a small fee. Before loading up your friend's pickup with rocks, Though, contact the landfill to clarify its policies and procedures. You don't want to get there and find out they won't accept the stones. Donate them to charity. Contact charitable thrift shops that sell donated building supplies. Shops like Habitat for Humanities Restore, for example, often sell donated landscaping materials, along with a range of other building, home improvement, and home decor items. You'll have to load up the rocks and bring them yourself. But think of that as part of your effort to serve the greater good. Contact stone recyclers in your area. Recyclers turn rocks into road paving material. Check your local government website for information on recyclers near you. They usually accept not only rocks but bricks, broken concrete, and chunks of asphalt. You'll almost certainly be responsible for transporting the material to them, though, and there may even be a small fee involved. Rent a dumpster to put them in. This is a good option if you literally have tons of rocks. The average full-size roll-off dumpster can handle a payload of around 9,100 kilograms which is a lot of rocks but the rental company may have a much lower weight limit of around 1,800 3,600 kilograms for safety reasons. So get clarification before you start filling the dumpster. Hire a junk removal company. Think of it as renting a dumpster and the workers to fill it. You'll almost certainly pay more than if you just rent a dumpster, but you'll save on some backbreaking labor as a trade-off. Also keep in mind that not all junk removal companies will haul away rocks, so make sure to ask this specifically before hiring one of them. Contact your waste management provider. It may be permissible to include rocks with household waste. That said, your trash hauler or local government might instead prohibit landscaping materials like rocks, so definitely check first. If it is okay, closely follow any weight restrictions and other regulations. Stash them until you find another use for them. You might not need rocks now, but how about in a year or two? You don't have to worry about stones decomposing. So the real trick is finding an out-of-the-way storage spot. You might put them under a deck, behind a shed, or in a hidden corner of your property. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.